Yeah. Good, good morning, John Augustin back again. St. Finian of Clownard. There's a picture of him with the 12 Irish apostles whose names are in the church in Clonard up on the wall, every one of them. And there's another picture of St. Uh, Finian uh, teaching all the, these apostles. And uh, Heavenly Father, by the work of your bishop, St. Finian, you formed a multitude of saints in the knowledge of the gospel and in the monastic life. In our own day, raise up, we pray, at his intercession, saints to edify your people by the vitality of their Christian lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. And uh, another little prayer at the back. Uh, there was a monastery in Clonard, uh, County Westmead. And it's a small village, but with a great history. And um, in, I, I'll give, I'll do another one. Heavenly Father, you gave St. Finian to be a minister for eternal salvation to your people. Grant we beseech you that we who had him on earth as a teacher may be worthy to have him as our advocate in heaven. Holy St. Finian, I entrust to you my most pressing concerns, and then you can ask for your intentions. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then you say the Apostles' Creed and an Our Father, one Our Father, one Hail Mary for the Pope's intentions. And then a prayer to say each morning, I arise today through God's strength to direct me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak to me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's host to save me from snares of evil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in a multitude. This prayer articulates the recognition of the ever presence of God. The very act of awakening is recognized as a gift. At the threshold of a new day, there is no arrogance, rather a longing to praise God is pictured in detail as the divine Anamkara. At every moment and in every situation, God is the intimate attentive an encouraging friend, and this is from Annam Cara by John O'Donoghue, Phantom Press, 1997. St. Finian is regarded among the fathers of Irish monasticism and in Verticomus, the master of the saints of Ireland. Born at modern day Moishal, in County Cardo, an old small village up in the hills. At 470 AD, don't forget that the Catholic faith only come here with St. Patrick in 432. So he was born at 470 AD. He received his formation in the monastic life in Wales under St. David though it is considered likely that he spent time at St. Martin's famous monastery at Tours in France. The monastic life at this time was considered among the most innovative, challenging, fresh and interesting ways of dedicating oneself to the way of the Lord. He settled in Clonard in 
at in 520 AD, close to the River Boyne, and established what was to become the most famous school of the 6th century. There you are, the education. Don't worry about the British yap about, about the way they ill-treated us, the same as they ill-treated everybody that they ever put their snout into. St. Finian was considered a brilliant, imaginative teacher and expositor, expositor of Holy Scripture. Many of those who lived, worked, and studied in Finian's monastery left to found other monasteries. Finian's most prominent disciple, disciples have become known as the Twelve Apostles of Ireland. <laughs> their, oh, their names is up. Um, it is believed St. Finian died of plague in 439 AD. Monastic life of Clonard continued until the 16th century. That was for uh, six, six to the 16th. A thousand years. Until, of course, the Reformation and the persecution and the, and the destruction of all the monasteries. And then the British, with their arrogance and their ignorance, like savages, started belittling the Irish and taking the land off them and, and starving them practically. It is appropriate to, rem to remember and seek the intercession of St. Finian as a man of adventurous spirit, omitted and radical discipleship, keen mindfulness, mind mindedness, and practical holiness of life. St. Finian pray for us. And of course, the secondary school and boarding school there, it's now day school, St. Finian's in Mullingar, named after that. So uh, that's the, the story, and I might just do it again tomorrow because it's uh, very useful uh, to reflect on that and the great education that uh, there was 3,000 once educated there in Clonard Monastery, and not just there. I was down in Mayo, Mayo Abbey, and there was also uh, a famous uh, school there. It's a small parish, but there was a famous um, um, education system there, monastic life, and all the rest of it. Many once educated there, and uh, the rooms are there now. So, I mean, how they got down there, the scene must have had spies or something. They were in every neck of the woods in this country. Small places that you never think they'd even know about. Yeah, boy, now, you found that interesting.